My name is Pavle, I play double bass and I sing a bit. I went to this beautiful Ethno Bosnia festival and that was my first interaction with this kind of music because before that I really didn't know about the whole world music movement and how actually beautiful it was. So I came there with no expectations, I didn't know what I signed up for and since the first rehearsal I just felt okay this is it, this is a whole new paradigm in my musical life and I came home and I really did not know what to do with my life. I felt a bit depressed really because like I really need that vibe in my life more often than just once during the year. So I called Irma because we were in the same musical school and I said to her, come on, let's make a band and let's play just for fun, you know. And we had also another guitarist and we started playing on the streets. And that was our main idea, no, nothing fancy, we don't want to be something special, no really good quality percussion arrangements, whatever. We just want to have this vibe on the streets of my hometown, which it lacked that and I still do. My name is Ivan uh, Judas and I'm a percussionist and I'm back vocal. I was really searching to enroll a music school uh, and uh, I was too old uh, at this point to enroll it but there was one chance if I go to certain music school because it has like preparation class it's like two years uh, which is shortened six years of elementary school in two years. And I walked on the street and I saw them playing, like Klada and this uh, first guitarist, Marko Palanovic. At that point, uh, I, I was really just coming to uh, people and ask if I can join in and play with them if they were playing on the street. So they had this small tarbuka, I asked if, if I can join. And I played with them and he actually told me where I can enroll music school to as there. And then I went to travel to Ireland and I was publishing my stories from there, what I was experiencing, and Klada saw this and he just uh, said, you seem like a nice person, would you be interested maybe to come and join us in the band when you come back to Croatia? And I said yes, of course, and this was a really good opportunity for me to grow as a musician. It was really good vibes between us and uh, I enjoyed playing on the street. It was also nice to make some money on the way, you know, it was really good and it was great support for me to start uh, as a musician actually so i would probably not be here today without this band
Roma and I play violin and sing lead vocals and we are Balkalar. We began playing in the streets and we didn't really have any plan or any ambition to become a proper band or anything, but slowly opportunities started showing up by themselves. We would go out, play in the streets and then somebody would approach us and like, hey, I have this bar, do you want to come and do a gig? And we were like, okay, why not? And then slowly, like gig after gig, first bars, then we had a started organizing our own like gigs in, in some small clubs, then we would get invited to larger clubs, then we would, I guess, get invited to be an opening act for a bigger band, and we just slowly climbed from there, and then festivals, and yeah. We also had some offers, like uh, we played for Iranian Embassy, we ended up on TV. Things were just going on, it was crazy, because we did no marketing, we had nothing, no album, nothing, and for years, we are just performing and being invited and uh, we had to reject many offers because we could not and it's crazy because other bands are fighting for opportunities and we are declining opportunities. It just worked out on its own. My name is Juraj, I play guitar. I think what's uh, kind of special and cool about this project is that everybody comes from a different background, actually. You know, we all know each other from a musical school. Irma and me were like young rockers. We listened to Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, The Beatles. Pavla was always into Limp Bizkit, uh, Korn, and uh, Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, we come from different parts of the city, different backgrounds, different influences and different mindsets. It's, it's uh, even hard in the band to like align every opinion, align every thought. We often have debates about like how should the arrangement be, uh, do we want something authentic, but our core value, how you wanted to explain it, is I think that we try to bring the traditional music of the Balkans of any area, so we don't play any Croatian music, we play from the whole former Yugoslavia or Balkan Peninsula, we want to bring it more closer to the younger people. Not just that, we want to enjoy the music, we like that language, we like that universe of, of Balkan music, but we're not focused on to playing the music in an authentic and original way, as some world music performers do. They're very, it's very important for them to preserve the authenticity, the tradition, the way of singing. It's not for us. For us is mainly to have fun, to have fun with the audience and to just explore as many songs that we know in our own arrangements and to create something new, to mix modern and tradition.
influences, at least from my point of view, is like he brought many music from the beginning, like the songs that he had heard and played on these festivals before uh, the band. Irma had some suggestions, I had some suggestions, and it's mostly like traditional music from this area, but we did it in our own interpretation. With Many times we did not actually discuss how it's going to end up. We started to play and things just happened. And we were like, what did just happen? We had it recorded and we just said, okay, let's keep it this way. Because uh, we would have rehearsals and uh, we would like die from laughter after what we played and say like, what the hell, this is it, you know? And uh, each of us, because we are different as individuals, each of us brings a different feeling to this and a different perspective, kind of. So things just build on its own, but at some point we started to work it more in details and uh, do a little bit more serious arrangements to make it more interesting. An interesting part of our career was when we were kind of making the switch from busking to performing in clubs because we used to have a slightly different sound while we were busking because it was fully acoustic and kind of just go as loud and as high as possible so that it would be heard well in the streets. And then when we started performing in venues which we had microphones and amplifications, it kind of gave, gave us the opportunity to change our sound into something more delicate and more, more detailed. And that is how we sound today, not, not just as loud as we can. I think from the beginning, since the instrumental makeup of the band is like, specific and unique, we and each of us has a style of playing that's our own. We had a sound which was our sound, and like over the years we have developed that sound. So we do not do original compositions, we take traditional songs, we keep the melody, we sometimes change the rhythms, We the arrangement is always our own. And they are all kind of classical musicians because they went to school. Because of this, there's many elements of classical music in some songs, uh, which is really fun, actually. When we actually put a piece from Johann Sebastian Bach into a traditional Macedonian song, which we then speeded up, and <laughs> it's just crazy punk, Johann Sebastian Bach, Macedonian, net no world, yeah. That's what's beautiful about this project, is not so like, we're professionals, we need to work, business. It's more like, let's jam, let's see what happens, and it stays. And it's usually good, you know? This part needs some baroque sound, and then he was like, started playing this bug, and we're like, hey man, that's great. We didn't go to the process of thinking, composing, taking influence. It was like, bam, okay, I want this, okay, can you do this? Yeah, I can. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> our first album so we will have some work on promoting the first album so we plan to still stick to the same thing we have been doing all these years and just slowly keep going in the direction we are going bigger festivals bigger venues better tours and building it but not with too much pressure and just keep going forward. Mm -hmm. 